It's your girl Shadia. What's up? I got the Galaxy S8, so if the camera looks different and better, it's because of that. And yeah, so. What's up? I know I'm so weird. I'm gonna put you guys here. Let me move this soda. Oh my god, thank god. Thank god this phone is water resistant because it just got wet. And it doesn't want to sit still. But now you can't see my face. So let me hold it. Do you like my tap? I don't know what they call it. Tap, tape strip. Oh my god. I don't know what they call it. Tapestry. My no window. My TV's over there. But anyway. So. What's on your mind, guys? I'm just in my room. Thinking about life. So, if you guys struggle with social stuff, like me, let's talk. So, I have an issue. Like, when it comes to social things, I do not like talking. Like, like, it's not that I don't like it. It's just, I don't know how to make it. It's like, when I'm at home, I'm fine. Jumping around the walls. No, not literally jumping around the walls. Talking and communicating fine. My family. So it's like once I walk outside, my body goes like this. And I get nervous. Sometimes I talk. I sound like a man. I'm like, Hello. But then, like, I don't know. I'm like, over, overly shy. And sometimes it's just annoying. Not sometimes, all the time. I just don't like being shy. Like, it's annoying. I have really social problems. Like, for example, I have been in psychology, and my teacher. Is a social butterfly, I would say. So, like, every single class, she wants us to get in groups. But lately, she's been telling us we can work by ourselves or we can work with a group. And mostly, everyone in the class works with someone. And I'm sitting there staring at the book or doing whatever we're doing by myself. But for like, Almost every single class, um, that awesome. we have to work in groups, and it's just right. annoying because I'm really shy. I don't want to be shy, but it just happens. And I need advice to fix that. Even though I don't think I can fix it because I'm like overly shy. Like the other day, my teacher made me read. I wanted to jump the fuck out. Of the classroom and was like bye and I come back you know I read it and I'm just like <laughs> like every time that's how you know I'm overly shy because every time this teacher is picking someone to read I'm sitting there like don't call me don't call me like no one does that like a normal person doesn't sit there like praying that the teacher doesn't call me like I have issues But I, one thing I'll say is, I'm really shy, but I feel like I'm better talking to boys than girls, but I'm still shy, the boys, on high school, I had this one boy, I was always stuck to, and this has nothing to do with my, anything, but I don't know, I just feel like saying that, and just overly shy and it's annoying especially and another thing is annoying and I have two classes in college and both of them I have to do a project where I have to stand in front of the class and present and oh my god that's just gonna be hard for me like 
And the one thing I really hate about psychology is when a chick puts us in group, tells us in groups, she'd be like, I have an activity. And she'd be like, so happy. Like, I mean, I don't hate her for that. I'm like, good for you for being happy, but people like me, that shit is annoying. Because my body gets all tense up. Like, I think I'm missing a part of my brain. Because I should not be so nervous. Like, and my teacher, she seems so nice. But she is nice, I seem. She's, like, a cool person. Like, if she wasn't my teacher, I could see us hanging out. And she's, I think she said she's, like, 26, 27. And I'm 23, so. And her birthday is two days after mine. Because it was my birthday and it, we had at school. Like, my birthday was one day. Because I go to school Tuesday and Thursday. My school was, my birthday was a Tuesday. Her birthday was Thursday. So, yeah. I didn't say it was my birthday. But when it was her birthday, I was like, Happy birthday! Her name's Ashley. So I was like, I remember the Ashley. Watch well, I think it's her last name, which I don't remember what her last name is. But anyway, she's not the point of the video. One of the videos, okay, I'm shy. And then sometimes it just makes me just like teachers because they want you to be social, but it's just hard. Like, she seems cool. But I don't like that I have to work in groups and I have to present a stupid project. Which I should start it because that shit's due two months. And I didn't start none of it. And I have a new project in my other class, which I don't even know when that project's due. She didn't even mention it. And but I'm just super shy. And yeah, I was gonna say, being super shy is annoying because then when you go to school, it makes you not like your teacher, but it's not your teacher's fault that you're super shy, it's your fault. They're super shy. So then, when your teacher wants you to work in groups, you get mad at your teacher because she's the one making you do groups. But it's not really her fault that you have issues. It's your fault. It's not really your fault that you have issues, but it's not her fault. And she don't know you have issues. So, you can't be mad at her or him. But, I just don't like presenting projects. Like, one semester in college, I didn't even go to class because I didn't want to do a project. Like, I failed the project because I didn't want to do it. I mean, because I didn't want to have to stand in front of class. Like, that is sad. For not doing a project. And the other day, I went to the beach for some extra credit thing with my friend. And I only went because my friend was there. If she didn't come with me, like, I was no way going with me. Especially when we got there. I got so nervous because there was, I thought it was going to be just my teacher and our class. Nope, it was different schools it looked like. Going to this place we went to, cleaning it. We had to like clean it with girl. What? I can't talk. We had to clean the beach, like pick up garbage. Mostly found bottle tops, like piece of plastic and stuff. I don't even know why I'm talking about this, but like if my friend wasn't there, I wouldn't have went because there were too many people. There had to be at least 200 people there. Maybe 100. Maybe 100. Not too much. I went too far. But anyway. Being shy is like. It sucks. And sometimes I'm like. There is a piece of brain missing. Like I'm in psychology. We learn about brain stuff. Well I never learned it because. I know I didn't do good on that test. But anyway. But we was learning about like. The frontal lobe. The, I forgot, I'm the O, that's your eyes though, occlusional, shit, I'm stupid, don't judge me, but, it's not even lube, lobe, lobe, frontal lobe, that's what you're thinking, and some other stuff, anyway, I think something is in my brain, it must be because I can't remember anything. 
Anyway, uh, so strong anxiety. So it might not be anxiety. I don't know. I like have something. I see the social anxiety, social mutism. Cause I watch a video. I don't think I have social mutism. Cause that's when you can't like, you physically can't talk. Like you literally can't talk when you're around person. Like if I have to, I have to. I prefer not to talk, but. I get physical mouth. I might stutter because I'm nervous as fuck. But yeah, and but sometimes I think I just have social anxiety. Like, like school is a struggle. Like school is supposed to get you out of there, but no, that shit just school just makes it worse. Like social anxiety, it affects you more than just school. Well, actually, it affects me more than in school, because I only go to school and work, so. It affects you for, like, if you need help with work in school class, you're too scared to go ask teacher, like, that's why I'm struggling in meteorology. Like, we might do classwork, and I'm sitting there like, what the fuck, I don't know how to do this shit, but instead, I'm sitting there thinking. And I don't know how to do it, but I don't ask teacher. Like this one kid, he's nice and sits next to me. And he saw I didn't know what I was doing. And he asked, and he was like, I will help him. So then he was trying to explain it to me. And he kind of helped. He did help. And the teacher helped too. Because she came over, and I just was like, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. Like, But if she didn't walk by me, I would probably put it just been like... Why you getting it? And so it's hard. School is hard. Um, I say work is not that hard because for some reason I feel like I'm more nervous at school than at work. Like I'm nervous at work. Like when customers come to me, sometimes I'm like, so, no. Mostly, when the customers come up to me and I don't know the answer, when they ask me about something, I'm saying like, okay, let me take this back. Wine. Mm. So I work. I do be nervous, but I'm just like, like a per- when a person comes up to me, I'm, I get tense. Up there. But then, depends on the question. I just say it so fast, so they go walk away and leave me alone. But not leave me alone, but so I'm not nervous anymore. But mostly the questions are where's the bathroom? Where's the fitting room? You have this in this size. So that stuff is easy at work. It's not that nerve wracking. Because most of the questions I know the answer to. But at school. I have all these children. I'm in college. They ain't children. I have all these grown ups. And they're all like around my age or younger. Like, I feel like all the kids in my psychology class. I'm 23. I think they all look like they graduated high school just now. Like, so I might be old. Maybe some. You know, this girl says she has a kid, so maybe she's not. Just graduated. No, no, no. She could have. But she might be 20 something, 30 something. I don't know. But some of them look like high schools. But anyway, it's, I don't know. Just school atmosphere is nerve wracking more than job. I don't know why, but it is. I think it's because it's the same people. But if anything, if it's the same people. I should be used to them. Because when I work, it's different people. Different customers. I don't know. So I think it's because it's a customer. I'm going to see them for five seconds. And they're going to leave. So I'm like, okay, bye. I'm going to see you again. So I'm on my nerves. I'm going to school. I'm going to see those people over and over. So I can't be looking stupid. Because I'm going to see them next time I go to school. I ain't even thinking about it. It's not even that. I'm not even walking across the like. Oh, they're looking at me. My hair looks ugly. Or I look ugly. I'm nervous. I don't know what I'm nervous about. 
that's the more problem. But I am, do get make me get nervous, like I said. But when a teacher come up to me and be like, read this, or just when someone says my name in the class, I'm just like, oh shoot, you talking to me? Oh man, why? Oh, it's just nerve wracking. Just walking in the classroom is nerve wracking. Sometimes I'm like, oh. Somebody, I feel like I like my meteorology class better. But I can understand why my psychology teacher teaches the way she does. Because comparing my meteorology class and her class, if I wasn't a shy person, I would like her class. But since I'm a shy person, I don't like her class. But if I wasn't, I would like her class. And I'm going to tell you why. Because when you think about it, meteorology... I like that class because we don't do much group work, but it's boring. It's not boring, boring, but it's boring. First of all, we be watching like weather stuff on the PowerPoint or whatever. I don't know, but she talks about the PowerPoint and then gives us a worksheet one of those days. And most of them, I don't know what I'm doing, doing the worksheet. And then Friday, we have a lab. Or sometimes, we don't have a lab. And we just talk about the stupid PowerPoint. And, yeah. And then, we collect data outside. Yeah, for meteorology. I don't even know why I took class. That shit is hard as fuck. I'm confused. I might drop it. Hopefully not. My dad killed me. And then my psychology teacher, she seems so sweet and nice. Like we could be friends. Maybe she a little too happy. I don't know if I. I mean, not too happy. You can never be too happy. It's good to be happy. I mean, she's too outgoing. And I'm not outgoing. But that's not the same. I could still be friends with her. Or maybe she probably get me out of my shot and survive with okay, her Because I have a friend who's outgoing. But I don't think she can get me out of my shot. But like, I don't know. What was I about to say? Oh, I'm comparing the classes. But I mean, y'all are just boring. And then psychology is not boring. But at the same time, sometimes it can be. But not really. I mean, it's boring to me because I'm a nervous wreck. So it's more not boring. It's more like, mm, I'm scared. What's going on? What are we going to do now? But it's more like, since she's always been putting us in groups, I've been used to it. So, I'm just, like, coming in class, like, nervous, but at the same time, I'm like, uh, what are we going to do now? Let's get this shit over with. Oh, not shit over. But the reason why I said her class is more, would be more interesting because, um, like, she, we talk about the PowerPoint in her class, too, but that's not it. Because most teachers, they give you a parable and talk about it, and then class is over. But she does, like, activities, and she wants to know our, I, uh, she wants to know our opinion about things. And she cares about our learning ideas. That doesn't make sense. How we can learn better, I guess. I don't know what I'm saying. But, and she, like has activities that has to do with the topic and yeah her, but she gives activities and doesn't just make it do powerpoints which will be boring so that's how the class will be interest. her class would be more interesting if I wasn't a shy person if that made any sense to you or am I just babbling And, but she's cool. 
Both of my teachers are cool. And I'm just uber shy. It's just annoying. I don't know how I got on um, talking about my teachers. But yeah, being shy is very annoying. Like, that project we gotta do, I'm. You can't tell by this face. But I am gonna be. I wish I could record me presenting that. Because that shit would be bad. Like, if you saw how that shit's gonna be, like. I'm gonna get my. I might throw up. Okay, I'm gonna throw up. But my face is gonna be red. I'm gonna be like. The uh, uh, dog. I'm gonna be like just. Like a little face gritter. The dog. What? No. The spider. Went. Up. The water. Spout. Down. Beep. The. Red. I might have a seizure. Not a seizure. But freaking, I'm so shy. In fifth grade, fifth grade, I was, when you're 10, my sister's 10 now. Thankfully, she's nothing like me. She's a crazy outgoing and has friends. I think I have friends in fifth grade. I don't remember. But anyway, I remember this. I don't know why. Because it probably was traumatic. And I'm a traumatic, crazy girl. I was freaking. We had a poster thing, and I presented it with a group of assholes. Said what they had to say about the project, and sat their asses down, and left me sitting there, standing in the class. Everyone staring at me, and had to say something about the stupid poster. And I started going like this. I freaking had a panic attack. Or whatever it's called. And you go. <laughs> and then I started crying. I just remember going like. <laughs> <laughs> like. <laughs> seriously. Like I wish someone would record that. That's how bad it is. But I ain't going like that. <laughs> In college. I am be thinking it. But I ain't doing it. It's more nerves. When they say you got butterflies. I be fucking having butterflies. I'm sorry for the cursing, but I be having some butterflies. Like, social anxiety, it's a struggle. It might not even be social anxiety. Just social shyness, whatever you want to call it, when you're scared, you're doing shit in front of people. Mm. But I don't think it's social anxiety. I think it's just, I don't know. Somebody tell me the correct term. Social awkwardness. My coworker said, "She's like, you got stage fright." I do. I got extreme, extreme, extreme. A hundred million thousand gazillion stage fright. Like, if I never had to present a project in my life again, I would be good. Like, I don't know why these teachers want y'all to be doing it. Like, I feel like they just doing this to. Hurt you? No, they doing it to make you a better person, but it's a struggle for people like me. But anyway, I need to shut up now. This video is 23 minutes. What is wrong with me? And I should be sleeping because I have to go to those two classes tomorrow. Peace.